is. Great Northern Trailer. Oh my God, that thing is beautiful. 10 foot dump. There's my bed right there. So the mini skid steer loads right on that. Solar powered or solar charger. This is the real deal spare. So this is a custom built trailer for me. It's a longer chassis. The dump bed, 10 foot dump bed. Tie downs on the inside there. I got D rings in there. Got the dump bed and the doors for dump. A two way dump. This is a Cadillac of Cadillacs. Big wheels. And then the, I think the right here, the ramps hook on right there, and I could drive the mini skid steer up right here. And this box has the automatic cover on there. Oh man, this thing is. So it has those doors, D rings on the inside. One question I do have on this is the weight distribution. They did move the axles pretty far forward. I think it'll be really well balanced when the mini skid steers on that front platform and there are logs in the bed. But I'm wondering if the mini skids on that front platform, if it's gonna be too heavy forward. I don't think so. But if it is, I could put the mini skid in the bed. That's me the day I picked up the trailer. Beautiful trailer made by Great Northern. A uh, bunch of really nice guys worked with me on the design and build portion of it. Sent me photos of the manufacturing process. I'll make another video where I'll include those photos. Um, I designed it so I could just drive out to the job, unload the mini skid steer, load the logs into the dump bed, then reload the mini skid steer, maybe with the attachment on top of the logs, and drive away, drive the logs to school, and load the mini, load them onto the mill, and then the students and I will be milling those logs, making cool projects, and selling those projects at our web store, Tree Transformation. So this is the first time loading the Vermeer CTX-50 mini skid steer. You can tell I'm a little nervous. I'm up pretty high there. You know, right before it pitches flat, you can tell how nervous I am right there. Really scared. I'm trying to inch it and get it to go down slow. It goes down pretty slow. It's not too bad. Uh, a little nervous. I might have to change the angle of those ramps somehow. Um, but I checked those dimensions a hundred times in my design before the thing was built. And it fits on there beautifully, a couple inches to spare on the sides and in the length. Um, the back of it's way inside the fender and that front's way inside the fender as well. So I'll, I'll do a lot more videos and keep you posted on this thing. It's a cool trailer. It's going to be a big advantage for us. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll keep you posted. I'd love to hear your comments and below.